we've got that we've got our Amarok V6 in, we're gonna start modifying this now. We're gonna put loads of accessories on this and turn it into a bit of a custom truck. The first thing we want to do is we're gonna take the grill off and this silver plate down here, um, this cover, we're gonna get these painted gloss blacks. So and we thought we'd just do a quick video in case any of you want to do the same thing, just show you how the uh how the grill comes off. So uh come on in Ben and I'll just uh, run through this quickly. First thing to do is take off this black plastic cover and that's got a series of these scrivets in i've taken most of them out but just to show you uh just get a fork i better put my glasses on and be better wouldn't it let's see what i'm doing just get a fork trim tool or a screwdriver in there and just prise those out and there's a whole series of these and then you can just lift lift that and cover out wiggle it out from underneath the air intake and just pop it to one side i think put others strip it in there and once you've done that, you've got two bolts at the top here, one on each side. They've got an eight mil head on them. And uh, you just undo those. So I will quickly undo this one. I've already taken in true blue pizza style. I've already taken the other one out uh, just to make this video a bit quicker. Try not to drop it down in the engine bay because you'll have a job finding it. So, just take that out. Okay, so there's two of those, one there, one there. And then it's the next bit is really down to brute force. So we've just taken this out just to try to see which is the best way. Um, as with all these girls, we need a bit of, bit of a pull. Found the best way is to get down below. Just get your fingers over the top of the, the black bit there. And just give it a bit of a yank. And then this bit... Here, I'll just get my trim at all. Like it should just tucked on on the end there. Just prise that off like that. I didn't, and that comes off. And then you've got what connections up to here. So you've got to unplug the, the camera if you've got a camera fitted on there, which most of these have. So that just twists off from there. And then you've also got the washer pipe. Probably should have done this before I pulled the grill off, but um, this is dead easy. Just squeeze that and pull that apart and then you take the grill off put it to one side and it just leaves you with these trims on top of the headlights and they literally just pull forward that way and come off like that we're going to get those painted and we're going to get the silver bits of the grill painted and what we'll do once we've worked out how to get this bad boy off off here we'll do a quick video on that as well uh, and we're going to get that painted gloss black as well if you think that'll, that'll look a bit better then we're going to get some wheel arches on here some bigger wheels and tires and do a few other modifications which we'll record along the way but so the grill's off and we want to get this off we i don't know why they the same on the ford they, this is always silver but we really want to get this de-chromed and blacked out so we're going to take this off and uh, get that painted gloss black so the first thing to do is to take this black plastic trim off the bottom of here so eight mil there are eight mil heads on them there's a whole series of bolts along here um just whiz those off all the way along bit awkward to do with a lift really but at my age there we go oh hopefully you can see oh, that one more on the end right. okay once they're all off you should just be able to grab that little slide it backwards it says i missed one no Okay, it's not as easy as it is on the board. It's holding that one there. Oopsing. In the tin there. There we go. Just pull that off. There's a clip that goes into there. So slide it backwards. Like that. You just take that off. And then we'll see what's underneath. You've got the rest of that silver trim off. Uh, there's normally behind here a couple of 
um, Torx screws. We're probably going to take the number plate off because the number plate overlaps. We'll whip the number plate off and then we'll uh, we'll get this piece off and see what's going on behind it. Right, so just taking the number plate off, that's just held in with a couple of self-tappers. But we're also going to need to take this number plate holder off because this overlaps here. I don't want to damage it when I take that silver trim off. Uh, again, just an 8 mil head on these to undo those, put them to one side. It should come off. Looks like it might be clicked in as well. And just put your hand behind it, give it a pull, and that just unclips. From there, hopefully you can see those okay. Right, now we'll start looking at how we take this off. Okay, so to get this piece off, I've identified that there's two screws behind here, and then the rest of it, I think, is clipped on. So I'm going to try and show you where these screws are by getting underneath. It's not going to be easy, this, so bear with me. So there's the towing eye, just to give you some context as to where we are. You'll see these two bolts here for the um, crash bar on the front. And it's this silver-headed Torx screw here, which is a TX25. And there's another one higher up, which is up there by that cable. And we've got to get those two undone. I think it's going to be difficult for me to video that, but you can see where they are. Um, hopefully, let me just see... There's no point in me videoing that because you know how to undo a bolt. Uh, but that's where they are. So we've got one. If you follow up the sort of outside of the that trim and look at where the line is, you'll you'll work it out. And then the other one, you can just see up there. So we'll get those two off, and then I think we'll be able to just pull that trim off because it still looks like there are some clips which uh, oh you can't see on here, but uh, there's one just there and we should be able to unclip those and pull that off okay so we've got those two screws out on both sides and now we've got to try and uh, undo these clips which is really difficult to show you um but you can see there's one there one there and there's another one higher up um they're not too difficult actually you just push them to one side and they should pop out okay i've just done the other side you can just see up at the top there that's where the third one is so we'll pop those out and then we should be able to pull the rest of it straight off so these three clips are out for the fact that well, it should get the top one out there and then we've got a series of clips across here um which are definitely going to be more tricky you could just cave them up take a bit of brute loss they will come you bend the inside down there he says one of those can go that's interesting isn't it? can be off quite as I expected because silver separating from the black bit oops okay maybe you don't need to undo those sensors then because it looks like that plastic piece underneath is clipped onto the silver bit. There you go. So if you push the black bit in, so we can leave that there because we this is the bit we've got to paint. So now we've got our silver trim off and our grill, little bits are above the headlights. So we're going to whip those down to the paint shop. Uh, we'll get those painted cloth flat. That will transform the front end of this vehicle.